What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Young Dub, coming at y'all with another video here. Yes, your boy's been MIA for quite a while. Man, you got a whole bunch of stuff going on in the background, behind the scenes. Doing YouTube can get a little bit difficult, man. I, I don't know if y'all can hear it in my voice. I'm still sick. I've been hella sick. Yes, I'm still sick right now. I was so sick to the point to where I lost my voice. Uh, it's kind of going in and out, uh, but since... I had enough strength to get up, uh, go to work this weekend, um, try to get some stuff done, man. I, I decided, yeah, let's go ahead and make a video. Um, also, um, another thing behind the scenes, had an unexpected move. Uh, so moved around, uh, that was unexpected. So now I'm kind of, kind of getting settled in. So I figured, man, let's go ahead and do a video. Uh, what you see right here in front of you, I guess I probably should move this camera back because she's hitting the table. Let's see if that works. Nah, that's not going to work either. Maybe about right there. Yep, now I can hit the table without uh, shaking y'all along with it. So, uh, like I said, man, your boy's been hella sick. Um, and then, like I said, I had an unexpected move. So, uh, trying to get settled in, get stuff done. I uh, don't know about the sound quality of the room that I'm trying right now, so it might be a little bit off. Uh, but this will probably be where I'm at for the foreseeable future. Uh, but let's check it out and just do a video. So, um, what you see here in front of you is some PRV audio. Um, the 6MB F, or yeah, 6MB 550 FT Forte speakers. Uh, Y'all know at the moment I have four of these installed in the Impala. And the door pods got those installed along with the DS18 super tweeters. So I believe a while back I did a video showing, hey, I got two more of these for a total of six to go along with that amplifier. Hopefully that y'all can see back there. I'm trying to tap this thing to focus. Uh, but that X series amplifier, the PRV, uh, on top of that behind those thighs right there is another PRV, the Q1200. Uh, that's going to be for that stuff up there, those DS18 horns, along with the DS18 super tweeters, man. But uh, the reason why I wanted to do this video right here is because of that little thing right there. I cannot. There we go. So this right here. Attention. This is a retail box. Please repack if shipping by carrier to avoid damage. Um with me just moving around, I just now seen that. So I figured, hey man, you know, let me go ahead and do a screenshot of that. Cause uh, if you've been on the channel for a while, y'all know a while back, Big Jeff Online, I don't care about mentioning the company's name cause they were the ones who did it. They were literally shipping uh, products, my PRV products in these type of boxes, wrapping them with um, bubble wrap and sending them out, man. So that's when it, hella unacceptable, especially when they have that on there, man. But let's go ahead and get to another unboxing video just for the sake of it because why the heck not um <laughs> boom y'all can see that right there man so like i said i got that x series amplifier back there got four prv um speakers of 550 fts in the car right now here's two more and here's two more so essentially what's going to happen here is we're going to have a total of eight of these jokers uh, so I'll have these PRV speakers along with those two PRV speakers along the back wall of the car. Let me get these out of here. Just a second. I don't want to cut myself. And my y'all, this stuff has been sitting around for a minute. Um, like I said, man, unfortunately, unfortunately, I think the last time I did a video uh, was on my SCAR uh, DDX 10 inch subwoofer. I got a lot of stuff sitting around, but <clears throat> unfortunately with me being sick, man, I was like literally bedridden and it's, it's, it's been rough, man. So um, cool right now, for the most part, I'm not really breathing too hard. Um, voice is holding up, so I don't mind doing this video right here, but let's and then I'll uh, mess around with this stuff. I, I seen that I didn't, I, I did an unboxing video, but I never opened the boxes as far as those other speakers right here. So I figured might as well just go ahead and open all four of them. Even though it's nothing new to see here because I've done this unboxing a few times, but why the hell not just to make sure everything's intact, even though I'm getting this stuff uh, directly from prv.com. 
there's one. Let's get this one going too. And once again, same, pretty much same deal. PRV, PRV sticker. Let's take a look at the speaker. Make sure the speaker's good to go. She is. All right, move another box around. Move this stuff out. Like I said, just got to be careful with this razor, man. I got that all over the place. Hopefully that focus of the camera. And here's number three. <laughs> like I said, man, yes, I know y'all seen this. We've all seen this before, man, but why the hell not? Uh, since this is part of the build, uh, might as well keep it going. There's number three. So one, two, here's three. Move the box out the way. And let's get to number four over here. Scoot you back. Put you right here. All right. Can we go four for four? <laughs> Major bag alert, Wendy's. Can we go to go four for four here? And we can. Boom. All right. So I don't know where. Uh, set that right there. Scoot that one back. So there it is. Uh, there are my four, well, the rear four, uh, PRV Forte speakers band. So uh, like I said, once again, going with that uh, X-Series uh, PRV amp, um, I'll get this stuff going sooner or later here, man. Like I said, man, when you take, uh, let's see, I was off for damn near two weeks, man. <laughs> and that's, I think, I want to say May 2nd, I believe it was the last time I did a video, which is almost two weeks ago at this point. So. Kind of let y'all know how sick I've been, man. It was like literally right after I did that video, um, things went way south. So, uh, but like I said, back up and running, uh, not a hundred percent, but feeling good enough to go ahead and do a video here, man. So, uh, just to expand, <laughs> I know I, kinda, I got a lot of groundwork to make up. Uh, like I said, pretty much been two weeks since I've done a video. Uh, but yes, we have four, one, two, three, four, PRV Forte speakers, like I said, these will be going in the rear deck of the vehicle, along with those right there. If you can see that, the TW700 Ti Super Tweeter, there's one right there, there's another one on the side of it. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get over there as far as the wide angle of the camera, but got that one, is like I said, there's one over to the side of it. So these four, those two Super, super Tweeters, uh, and the four horns. Uh, so those horns that you can kind of see the box, the red box right up there above that SCAR DDX-10. Um, four horns, so four DS-18 horns, uh, along with the PRV wave guides, which are up over there as well. Uh, like I said, these four speakers and then the two super tweeters, man. So, yeah, <laughs> we're going to try to get a little loud this year, man. So hopefully the Mizzen Hides will be screaming. Uh, along with some bass, uh, like I said, we got some SCAR DDX-10s. Um, like I said, I just, as far as groundwork, man, I got a lot of stuff uh, to make up for to get videos going, things like that, man, once I get settled in. And right there are the BDX-43 DS-18 speakers. Those are included in the giveaway. Um, the giveaway theme was May the 4th be with you, you know, Star Wars, yes. <laughs> Like I said, I was bedridden, so May 4th, I spent the whole May 4th, no, okay, the night of May 3rd, um, I believe May 3rd, the night of May 3rd, TBS uh, started running the Star Wars movies. Yes, I spent the whole May 4th uh, watching Star Wars all day, and I spent the whole May 5th uh, watching Star Wars. So, yes, like I said, man, I was bedridden, might as well take advantage of it, get, some, get caught up on the Star Wars stuff, man. So... I've been settled in. Um, the giveaway was made of fourth be with you. 500 views. Um, hashtag Audi 5000 Hertz. I want this ish. Uh, yes, I did have a lot of people get in on that, man. Uh, but we did make the 500 views. So I'm going to try to figure out where I want to go 
uh, with that maybe over this weekend. Maybe, uh, not making any promises, man. I, like I said, I couldn't be good right now. Could mess around, go get settled in for the night and be coughing through the night, man. So uh, we'll see what the deal is. But like I said, it's been about two weeks. Finally got stuff settled in as far as the sickness and the move. Uh, got this uh, sound digital. It's right there. You can't really see that banner, but I threw it up because why the hell not? PRV banner right there. Got the table set up. Uh, so I figured, you know, since I've been up and moving, sweating my ass off, uh, might as well go ahead and make it work, uh, work worth something. So I uh, decided to get a towel, <laughs> dry my face off and get this stuff going, man. So, and this here, might as well, since I keep talking about that um, X-Series amp from PRV, might as well open this up. Cause I got these uh, Sky High Car Audio dual amp inputs uh, just specifically for that amp. Um, last year, I had the um, Sky High Car Audio all copper amp, um, dual amp inputs for the um, the Wolfram 7500 watt amp. This year, obviously right there, you'll see in front of you, I'm running the SFB 8000D. Yes, when I did the unboxing video, that DDX10, I was like, yeah, I got an 8,000 watt sub. I totally meant to say I got an 8,000 watt amp. Uh, even though I'm not gonna be using it to that capacity, I'm gonna be running it at two ohm. Uh, which I believe the Dido did 6,100 watts on that. So uh, when I get those SCAR DDX-10s up and going, um, uh, like I said, we'll be running those at 2 ohm. Um, and like I said, hopefully with box rides and all that type of stuff, uh, she'll come in closer uh, to 5,000 watts, man. So we'll get going on this stuff, man. So uh, like I said, just got these uh, specifically for that PRV amp, um, wasn't gonna go crazy as far as uh, trying to get all dual copper inputs and stuff like that. But I do have to get the inputs for that SFB amp. So I haven't made my decision as far as whether I wanna go copper on that or uh, go pure copper on that or just go with these uh, aluminum dual amp inputs, man. So uh, we'll see when we cross that road, man. So yeah, just doing an update video. Um, I'm back in the lab. Uh, about to get stuff up and going sooner or later here, man. Probably a little, it's probably gonna be a little bit later because uh, as I'm going long in this video, I can feel my chest starting to tighten up, man. So y'all know the deal, man. Just doing an update, trying to keep everybody updated on the channel on the 2120 build. And as always, any questions, comments, concerns? Yes, I try to get back to everybody. Uh, like I said, as I was bedridden, I was replying to a lot of uh, comments and questions and things like that, man. So... Uh, don't hesitate to ask. Like I said, I know I said it in a video a while back. I'm not people's personal assist assistant. I hope people didn't take that personal. Um, shout out to my man, Mark Dolphin. He usually asks me a bunch of questions. I don't mind because Mark is cool. He'll come to me like, hey, you know, I'm looking at like the SFB. I'm looking at this SFB 8000 watt app. And he might ask 100 questions, but I don't mind that because he's respectful. It's the people that come in asking a million questions and just think, Hey man, I asked you a question like 20 minutes ago. Where are you at? I'm at work, <laughs> you know, or I'm, I, I might be busy. So um, if you ask a question, man, trust me, I'm, I do my best to try to get back to everybody. When you start thinking of like EXO, granted he's working at um, uh, Showtime Electronics right now. Uh, but even he said, you know, back in the day before he was uh, working for them, he tries to spend about an hour a day just replying to comments. Hey, shout out to him for that. I don't work a typical nine to five day. Uh, my day might start at 4 a.m. and go till 8 p.m. I mean, especially right now with all the gas order stuff, they're running truck drivers. Shout out to my man, Robert Van Hoyden, Notorious RVH. They're running, they're tr the government is li literally, legally allowing companies to uh, run drivers up to 18 hours a day. I wish I might. Ain't no way in hell, that's not safe at all, man. So yes, I try to get back to everybody as far as any questions, comments, concern, I try. I'm not putting that, you know, I used to say, I'll get back to everybody. Now I say I try because my channel is growing. Uh, I do have a lot of people consulting me about um, car car audio and things like that, man. So I'll now I'll put the disclaimer out there. I'll try to get back to everybody, man. So just putting that little disclaimer out there, man. So right back to positivity to, well, I'll just do it like this. Two, zero, two, one. <laughs> Y'all know the theme. It's right here on the table. 
well, I guess you can't kind of, well, you kind of can. If your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got taken. It. It's your boy, Young Dub. Yes, I'm back in full effect. Hopefully, I'll get these videos coming out left and right, man. Don't hold me to that, but that is my goal, man. Plenty more updates to come. Stick around. Have a good weekend. I'm out of here.